Okay, previously we had done a uh, video on our Banggood order and we got uh, a couple of quadcopters and a couple of cameras. So I thought I'd just review the cameras right now, just a, a quick review. Now, one of the cameras is just an $8, 808, I uh, believe a version 1 camera, and uh, the other is a car camera. Now, I didn't pay much for it either, I think it was $21. And there it is right there. Uh, the features on this are nothing big to write home about. Uh, it does have a swivel head, which is kind of handy. And it came with a windshield mount where you can mount it upside down and view what's going on with the car. And I did that, and I'll show you some video on that. It does have a very wide angle lens, and it's kind of distorted around the edges, but it it does pick up everything on both sides of the road. The downside is you can't really see the license plate numbers even when you're right up on somebody's bumper you still can't read the plate so I don't know how good it would be for evidence collection for an accident or something like that. It's just got uh, too low a resolution. Now uh, it boasts that it's HD and you can actually set it in HD mode so you should be getting 720p but in reality, you don't get that, and I found that uh, just setting it down to its regular resolution works the best, which is basically 640 by 480, and that's about the best you can do. The others are more like just zooming in and uh, doing some pixel conversion to make them look better, but I'll show you how that looks. Okay, what I've done here is made four different movies and each one is a movie clip of a different mode, the four modes of the car cam. Now the first mode is 320 by 240, which is the lowest resolution. Okay, I'm going to stop that movie. Now, I'm just going to scan through the movies manually, so you can see I can move back and forth through the movie. Okay, so there's 320 by 240, that's the low res of the car cam. Now we move up to 640 by 480. See the difference in the lettering on the box right here? All of a sudden you can see the lettering better with 640 by 480. Now let's go from this VGA mode up to what's called D1. Now there's D1. Now you can compare the two. Six, this is 480p and that's D1. So the lettering's no not really different, but it's it's acceptable. Now we'll go up to the highest res, which is 720p, which is supposed to be HD. Now compare the two, and I think you'll see there's barely any difference. And the other thing is, you can see there's something wrong with the color depth now in this HD mode, because you can see these rings of color on the carpet right here. And uh, it's wider, but it's like they clipped the top and bottom off the 640 by 480 and just gave us a zoomed in portion because there's no more resolution. And I think I can show you that if we go skip down to the end here. Now here's the zoomed in version of, high, of HD. And now I'll go to a zoomed in version of 720 by 480. And I think you can see there's little or no difference. So we'll go to the next mode, 640. 640 actually looks crisper to me, which is why I say HD may be a little bit zoomed in. You may, I mean, this one here may be a little bit more zoomed in, but then you have to put up with these color problems, which I don't like. So 640. Or even the 720 by 480, the D1 is nice. But now, I want you to see this next thing. This is really surprising. If I go to the keychain camera, the 808, look at this. Vibrant colors. It's 720 by 480, but looks a lot better. Here's another view of it zoomed out. And see that? You can read all the writing. Everything looks crisp. There's great colors. 
I mean, I can't believe it. This $8 camera does a better job than that car cam that I paid $21 for. So, okay, so now you've seen that. That's, uh, that's the, uh, the truth about the model. I mean, it's cheap, $21. Maybe you could get some use out of it. I found I could use it as a uh, close-up camera for looking at uh, keyboards or, you know, like I'm showing somebody what I'm typing on the keyboard or maybe using it for a build video for RC uh, for close-up shots because it works well for that. And the, and the top thing does swivel all the way around so you can take a picture of yourself if you want to, which is kind of handy. And uh, so it's got some features that are good. It does have what they call night vision, but that's just two LEDs, and these aren't infrared LEDs. These are actual high bright LEDs, so they put out visible light. Uh, so it, they're okay, but you can only see uh, within maybe 10 feet away. That's all it's going to light up, so it's not real night vision. And I'm not sure why that would work in a car, because this is going to reflect off the windshield, so uh, I haven't got much use out of that. Both cameras have a USB port, so you can download the files directly to your computer, which is really nice. I like that feature. Of course, that's very common nowadays. Uh, this camera here, which is the 808, uh, real old version, like I say, $8, it works very nicely. Actually, I like the picture on this better than this car cam, even though this didn't boast HD. It does have a 720 by 480 and I put it on one of my planes and flew it around and uh, the video didn't look all that bad. So uh, I thought the, the video was crisper and had better color, and it responded to the light well. So, you know, I, I like this so much, I, I'll probably go and order a, one of those 808 number 16s and get the HD, because I think really this is, for the money, this is the best way to go if you just want to uh, take some aerial videos and and it's lightweight, so you can put it on the smallest possible planes. I mean, this will go on a Champ or... You could put it on a tiny quadcopter. It's so light that uh, just about anything could pick this up. And it was easy to use, too. Uh, just hold the button down to turn it on. And So, you know, did I get my money's worth? Yes, I think I got my money's worth. Um, I'm already using this, like I said, for close-ups. Uh, wouldn't be good for aerial video, which I originally thought it would be, but it's not enough resolution even to use in the car. Uh, but it's fun, and for 21 bucks, hey, not bad. And I definitely got my money out of this little 808. I mean, $8? Fantastic, just to play around with. And both of them were free shipping, just like the quadcopter. So there you have it.